Joel 3 verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Giving all the praise and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakudash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. A sincere shalom, labakarium sharp, yasharala, that's peace to the hopeful election of the nation of Israel. Joel 3 verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And that's what's happening. What you're looking at right now is a photo that was taken a few days ago. You know, satellite photos of lepers' tanks, Abrams' tanks. To your far right hand side, you got those Abram M1 tanks that America lied and said it would take months, almost a year to get over to Ukraine. You got the lepers tanks that they lied and said it would take months to get over to the Ukraine. In the middle, you got the first aid tanks. You got the you got the Humvees. You got the military uh, supply vehicles. This thing is going down. This is hundreds and hundreds of military equipment that's being shipped over there to Poland. As we speak, this stuff is there. There. Ready to be used. Now they come in with the fighter jets. Germany with the fighter jets. The USA with the fighter jets. NATO with their fighter jets. So all this is taking place. Because we we at that day. We at the day that the Heavenly Father spoke about. They trying to keep it under wraps, but they can't. They can't hide anymore. This thing is getting hot. It's getting hot and it's getting heated. And we're gonna play a little bit of this. And this comes from uh NY Prepper. Another prepper, you know, he watches the satellites, not just in America and in Canada. He watches the satellites throughout the world. You know, they have YouTube, you know, um, as, as well as um, websites where you can watch the coming and goings of the nuclear fighter jets, the fueling jets, everything, man. Everything is just exposed with these cameras here. And this was caught. You know, America's caught red handed. Why? Because this prophecy said, prepare war, wake up the men for war. And we in World War III. You got three phases to a war. You got the cold, the warm, and the hot. And right now we in that middle between that warm and that hot phase of this third woe, this third disaster, this third confusion. Joel 3, verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords. The plowshare, these, these are, these are uh, farming tools. That the Lord wants them to make into war tools. And that's what's happening. Instead of, instead of spending their money on agriculture and feeding their population, they're feeding their arsenal. Why are they feeding their arsenal? Because the Heavenly Father has opened up his armory. Which are these bombs? Which are these weapons? Which are these megatons? And the Lord is about to have this thing happen, man. We at the end. We at the end of the world and the rising of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. This is Jeremiah 50, verse 25. Yahweh have opened his armory. The armory is a stash house. As you can see when we play this video here. Yeah, this is a stash house. And this is this is not even a I would say. 10% of America's budget As much as they've been spending on weapons Throughout the years man And tanks This ain't even scratching the surface And don't believe the news media When they tell you that Russia is out of bullets Russia is the number two arms Seller As well as builder in the world Right behind America Russia ain't even opened up their armor yet to let loose on Ukraine, man. 
They still toying with them. That's why they're using mercenaries. But the Lord is about to speed this thing up. Yahweh have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation, which is the Lord's anger, man. And rightfully so. Look at the world of the day. The minds of the people, the minds of the women, the minds of the children, the minds of the men. So the Lord is bringing these weapons because of his indignation. For this is the work of Yahweh, of hosts, which is the Lord of armies, the Lord of Sabaoth. In the land of the Chaldeans, which is the place of wisdom. And we know the, wis the wises of the Edomites are what? Teman, the Germans. So he's coming down on him. Where's Germany? Germany, that's a, that's a part of NATO. So the Lord's about to come down on NATO as well as cutting down on Britain and ultimately come down on Britain's child, which is the U.S. of A. This place is about to get it. It's about to get hit and it's about to get hit hard. The Heavenly Father is pulling no stops because we at the end. And I know the Lord is thirsty for this, man. Yahweh Shah is thirsty for his revenge as we're going to see. They've been lying. This thing is moving speedingly. Speedingly, we're moving towards this war. And at the same time, this MOTB is running neck and neck with this World War III. That's the mark. That's the mark of the system. The mark of the new world order is here. CBDCs is here. All they got to do is hit the switch. So everything is going to come as a thief in the night. What's going on, guys? It's Greg here, a.k.a. NY Prepper. It is Monday, March 6th, 2023, and I have a red alert to share with you guys. I wanted to give you an update on the situation in Eastern Europe and also some breaking news coming from the Middle East. So on Sunday, I shared a video showing hundreds and hundreds of American tanks and infantry fighting vehicles, Humvees, uh, arriving in Poland. And so I want to just go through this video in greater detail because I've had some time to take a look at it up close and really study it. And so I counted about 75 M1 Abrams tanks in this video and about 75 Bradley fighting vehicles and probably at least a hundred medical vehicles which is concerning okay, you don't send medical vehicles to a country if those vehicles are just there for exercises you don't need a hundred medical vehicles if it's just for exercises okay if you're just going to be doing exercises, you may need a few of them, all right? But uh, if we're talking about a war, an armed conflict, you need dozens and dozens of medical evacuation vehicles. So that's pretty concerning. Also, uh, probably at least 100 fuel trucks in this video, uh, all kinds of uh, utility trucks. I also saw a few paladins. The paladins are the... U.S. Army self-propelled howitzers. I saw a bunch of recovery vehicles. Just a massive amount of equipment here uh, being delivered to Poland in Gdynia. <laughs> you hear that? Gdynia is the largest. You hear that? Massive amount of weapons. Joel 3, verse 11 again. Assemble yourselves and come, all you heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Then cause thy mighty ones to come down, which are the angels. And they down here refereeing this whole thing, making sure it go according to plan. Let the heathen be weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Because the Lord isn't dealing with it. Tell you about that angel that's down there in the, in the, in the, in the Euphrates. Stirring up trouble Remember these angels are working on the minds Like if you read in Daniel's the 10th chapter How the angel was working on the mind Of the king of Persia Which was Yahawashah Then Michael had to step in While Yahawashah came to Daniel's 
So these angels are working on the mind of these generals, man. Working on the mind of these top lieutenants. Working on the mind of these elites to actually make them think they're going to pull this off. So the Lord said, let the heathen be weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shapat, which means the Lord judgeth, which is located down there in the Middle East, the Fertile Crescent. Something's going to happen down there in the Middle East with all this going on. There's a lot of ruckus going on in Iran. Between Iran and Israel, they were strapped up today. And they're not announcing this, but they're going heavy down there. they about to call martial law when you look into it down there because they need to strap down Israel and they need to strap down uh, Syria and they need to strap down Iran. So everybody's about to back up on each side because it's a lot, it's a lot of um, tension bubbling down there in the Middle East while we got our eyes on Russia. It's a lot of tension bubbling down in the Middle East. And now China just jumped in and China's on both fronts. So they China got what you need to actually fuel both sides. So this is all the heathen uh, taking part in this war. While at the same time, the Lord got uh, uh, North Korea send it off more icbm missiles and when you shoot off those missiles those are millions of millions of dollars so every time you shoot off a missile you lose money so you're not just shooting the the, the 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 prime minister over there in north korea he not just shooting them missiles off these are warning shots these are shots they want to be seen and heard and each shot even though it just goes in the air or circle the earth it matters it matters. So the Lord said once again, uh, Joel 3, verse 11, Assemble yourselves and come, all you heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. Let the heathen be weakened and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I judge all the heathen round about. And the heathen is about to be judged. Because the Lord's indignation is upon their armies, man. Yes, they are for touching the apple of the Lord's eye. Oh, the Lord going to send it to him. The Lord about to send it to him. Oh, yes, he is. Let's, let's get this here. This is, um, this, is, uh, this is Isaiah 34, verse 2. For the indignation of Yahweh, once again, that indignation is upon all nations. Indignation is on these nations. It's on these heathens, okay? And his fury, his fury, furious anger upon all their armies. So these armies going to be deceived, man. Yeah, the Lord gathering them up for that final showdown, man. Because we at the end of the world. We at that time when the Lord is about to create new heavens and new earth. So to do that, he got to get rid of the old and end with the new. So his indignation is on these armies. He have utterly destroyed them. See how the Lord speaks in the future tense? That's why we say prophecy is to say before. The Lord has utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. Just port that Poland has on the Baltic Sea. So this is pretty concerning, guys. Uh, it looks like the United States is reinforcing Poland. And I've showed you guys the videos back in January of uh, American equipment being moved into northeastern Poland, into a city where there's no bases, where there's no Polish or American bases. I showed you guys video footage of probably hundreds of American Bradleys and Paladins in the capital of Latvia. I've been tracking all of the ISR flights in northeastern Poland and Lithuania the past few weeks. So NATO is obviously concerned about something going down in the Baltics and Poland. And they're continuing to monitor 
Poland and the Baltics like crazy every single night, including tonight. It's actually early in the morning Monday, but there's a whole bunch of ISR planes up in the air right now in northeastern Poland, in the Baltics, and just seeing this video, to me, this is like a red flag, okay, for the United States to move hundreds and hundreds of war machines into Poland all of a sudden, of all places, is uh, very unusual, okay? Uh, uh, not to us. Not to us. Cause we, hey, we into the prophecies of our Lord, y'all, about Shimei, I'll shout. This thing is going down. Akim Akwa, get ready. Jacob Trouble is right around the corner. They're going to announce this war. They're going to pop off this draft. Even this prepper here, they're going to be scrambling, scrambling because they're hopeless. They have no faith. Their faith is in their materials and their food and their weapons. Our faith is with the Lord and his chariots and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Revelations 11, verse 14. The second woe is past. The word woe means destruction. The second world's woe is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. We have the rotations where different uh, American uh, brigade combat teams rotate every nine months, I believe. But last I heard, they were uh, making these deployments permanent now, so they're no longer being rotated out. Uh, I don't know the, the specifics of that, but I heard from uh the u.s secretary of defense they were going to make permanent deployments in poland rather than uh rotations okay so what that means is they're going to have units stationed there permanently much like we have in south korea on the dmc much like we have in uh japan okay they're going to have a permanent presence there and uh you know this is it, it to me when you look at the big picture all the isr flights isr means intelligence surveillance reconnaissance all the isr flights the last few weeks in the baltics and pol uh so lucky for these uh commercial care and uh the videos coming from northeastern poland of american equipment going in there a few weeks back and the equipment in Latvia and just massive amounts of surveillance every single day uh, in this part of the world uh, tells me that, you know, NATO and the U.S. is, is secretly uh, gearing up for a showdown with Russia in Poland and the Baltics, okay? So you heard it They're yourself, trying man. trying not to cause that's, a, that's the expert opinion right there. But we, we got the scripture. We know it's going down. We know that this thing is going down. We know this thing is happening. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh so cometh as a thief in the night. Now, how will a thief catch you when you're not looking? And most of these idiots walking around planet Earth, man, they're not paying attention. Because it ain't for them. They set for destruction, man. They set, set for death. They're going to scramble. You ain't got enough time to prepare for something like this, man. And if the Heavenly Father is not by your side, all you're preparing is in vain. All you're preparing is in vain. Well, you going to buy yourself a few more days, a few more months, a, f uh, a few more weeks before what's <laughs> the inevitable actually happened? You got to be down with your how about shimmy, how shout. You got to be chosen. You got to be picked out at this time. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. You know how it is when a woman with child, you know, she can be in a cab out there handling a business. That water break, here comes that baby. <laughs> and here comes that baby. What we read right now is the baby. The baby is about to give birth. The baby is it's here. The baby's on his way. It says, but you brethren, that's the hope for a lot. Are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief and that day ain't gonna take us as a thief are these fools out here running around worrying about money worrying about eating worried about drinking worried about partying the old four leg man we got our eyes on the prize that's the second coming of our lord man we ain't gave up we don't forsook this world through the graces of yahweh bashim yahweh shah 
picking us out of this world. The Lord chose us out of this world for a reason. This world is condemned, man. This world is done and good riddance with it. So it says, but you, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. We are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for the helmet of hope and salvation. And this is a hopeless generation out here. The hopeful elect, <laughs> that's why it's called the hopeful elect. Because we're the only ones with the hope. The hope of making it up out of here. These people, man, whew, we want to be out of their way when this thing hits. Because it's coming. It's coming. Like a woman in travail. It's coming. Giving all praise and honor to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rechakabdash. Shalom.